Hi guys, so today what we did is when we got up, we went straight in with the chickens, swept up all of the old straw in there because what happened is we put two bales of straw in with them and they pecked away within a day, all over, scattered everywhere, it went absolutely crazy. So um, got rid of all the straw in there now and we've also changed the layout. So what I'm gonna do is see if I've got a clip of them of how it was set up first originally when we first got them. So I'll show you that clip now and then I'll take you in there and show you what we've done differently. So let's uh, show you what we've got going on. Let's, uh, so we've got ourselves, obviously the uh, run is done. Well, not fully done, needs some netting over the top and a few more bits and the strengthening beams taken out and whatnot. Anyway, so they've uh, been given a swing. Quite an awesome, unique thing. Here they come. They've got a swing. Got this bit of uh, old metal here where we can put food on even though we do scatter it as well we've got a new water pot there random tire i believe that would just be uh for decoration i have no idea obviously we put some uh logs across on the outside here just something they can stand on you know mess around with they like to dust bath here this so there was a tree root in here hello oh this is who are you dodo this one's dodo you can tell because she's missing a claw so yeah this is uh where they dust bath there's a tree root in here we dug it out you can see bits of it still there and they like to just all come in this corner and dust bath you sometimes uh we'll be in the kitchen window just over there and uh you see all the ladies messing around in the corner there you never know what they're doing sometimes i wonder if they're planning an escape a bit of a chicken run so on the inside okay it looks like we've left one bale in here so we're using one bale of straw this time mum's left half there so water is up on blocks this stops the straw working its way into the water as best as it can. I need to fill up that tire with some sand, that's their dust bath inside. We've had to cement this corner here, where there was just some old rocks and stuff, it wasn't a flat surface, it wasn't done. And we've changed the system in here by the looks of it. So originally the, oh, sorry they're yakking away out there, right. So originally the nesting box was here, and obviously it's raised on blocks for them. They prefer to use the left cubicle, We'll come in, we'll find four or five eggs in there, and they like the red box, usually find one or two in the red box as well. Um, so we hang the water feed, the water feed, we hang their food, like so, it helps with the spillage. And usually this was all straw, instead now we've put sawdust down here, this is where they do their toilet at night, they sleep on the perch. We've adjusted the perch slightly, added some different bits of wood in there, changed the height and whatnot. What the? Sorry guys, I keep hearing noises out here. I think the cat's just uh, got a bit scared. She's come out and joined us. Look at them. What are you doing, Coco? So this is Coco and Morgana. We have Fleur and Lily. So that's a Calder Ranger, Highline Brown, Highline Brown, and a Road Rock. This is Rocky, the what we seems to be the more predominant. She's a lovely Road Rock. She's the, the vocal one. This is Fion, the Highline Brown, Dodo, the Road Rock, and Ginger. Yeah, named after Chicken Run. And I'll tell you what, as you can see now, look, Ginger. Oh, she's come and laid down for me, but she likes to usually run off. So yeah, there's the inside changes. It does look a lot different. It's a lot better. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna love the swing when they go on that. Oh, they've got the food tray over. That's not a smart idea. That needs changing slightly. We can resurrect that and change that. Oh, this hang oh, this hangs for cabbage and apples. You put it on. They jump up and peck at it. You'll be sat at the, uh, you'll be at the kitchen window and you just see all these heads bobbing up like this, fucking you know, blah, 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 going for the apples and that. It's quite quite hilarious. So uh, as you can see now, they're making their way over to the dust barving corner. I don't know what half of them are doing. Let's have a have a look in here. Oh, they're going to break down that rest of that bale. Oh, and we're starting to store the food in here now as well in these bins. Originally we had to transport it all the way over from another room, so to make sense if it's in here so we can serve it straight in. The only thing is we have to obviously do the water in the kitchen. But yeah, it's coming along quite well. We're getting we're getting an average of, I'd say an average of six eggs a day. We've had seven some days, but it seems to average six. Right. So we've got the wild sheepdog. 
on her way to wherever she goes. Where are you going, Bonnie? Where are you going? She goes up in the yard, she goes everywhere. Daisy's come out and join us as well. She rarely comes out, but she has been recently. Hey! Daisy. Here's the one that seems to be the most scared at the minute. We're not sure why, because she used to be the most vocal and outgoing. And now she'll run at the sound of anything, won't you, Ruby? There you go, I told you she's vocal. So the field's looking a lot better after the, si uh, the slurry going on. It's worked its way in nicely and the grass is growing very well. We've been uh, free, roam free ranging the chickens as much as we can, letting them out, letting them all around here. We block it off as much as we can, but generally speaking, we can let them out and around. Um, so yeah, it's been quite good for that. Although they do occasionally escape, they find little holes and crevices to make their way out into the yard and places like that. So just have to keep an eye on them, make sure they're not being escape artists. It's usually Lily or Ginger, the cooler rangers. They're the ones that just love, you know, running away and hiding. Uh, the baler's there. Dad's been working on that. He's done the tines on it now. He's put 24 new tines on it. So I made repairs to the roof. There was a couple of holes on the top. I'm not going to go up there and show you just for the purpose of this. But we've been up there. You can maybe just make out some tin sheets been fit over the top of the triangular bit just to uh, cover up them holes and let it work down. Um, oh, here you go. Look, 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 look. This is the cleaning session I was telling you all about. They uh, come up to this side here. Usually it's the corner. Not so much today. They're uh, around the tyre today, having a bit of a groom. I think they're uh, having a bit of a chin wag with each other. Dad's been working on a gate in the yard. He's only temporarily fixing it in so he can see how he's going to do it with the posts and that. So I'll just show you that now. Oh, about standing all the mud. I haven't got my wellies on. So he's uh, put some temporary posts in like that. He's trying to work out how he wants it, where he wants it. I'm going to try and get a bit closer, try and avoid this mud without having wellies on. Obviously, there's our composting heap now. We've put all the straw, hay, you know, you name it, it goes in there. Anything we want just to rot down a bit. So, yeah, usually I just come tearing through here and into the field. That is eventually not going to be able to happen, which is going to be rather annoying. I'm going to have to go through the gate over there and open the gate. You know, I don't like opening gates. But yeah, you can see he's fitted them in. Gives him a gauge, an idea of how he's going to fit the gate in here. It's just a rough template for him. Um, yard's still looking like a scrap heap at the minute with loads of scrap to go. Fire needs to be set alight again. Cultivator's just sitting over there at the minute. Since recording the allotment video last week, we've made, um, we finally planted in some onions and a few other things. So I'll just show you that now quickly as well. So uh, potatoes are starting to come through. I showed you in the video. So you could just about see the leaves, they're now fully coming through. This is a matter of a week. This is be the last video was recorded on somewhere around the May the 5th, I'm a guess. And we're now, no, May the 5th, May, about May the 5th, 10th. And we're now about May the 15th. So uh, the onions are in over here. They're in over here. And they, they did eventually extend the a frame for the runner beans curly kale went in i think mum showed you that that's for the guinea pigs for my guinea pigs which i've just had outside as well so everything's coming along nicely we're uh, working our way through we've still got about five or six videos to show before we actually catch up to this moment i will start getting them on next week this is more just a, another update video show you what's actually going on um so yeah hope you guys enjoy watching today's video Right guys, so I'm going to end this update video here, just showing you what's been going on. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, that should come up over there somewhere. Um, leave us a comment as well, new old subscribers, let us know what we're doing, what you think, anything you think we should be doing differently. I will respond to everyone, make sure everyone I um, that gives me like a suggestion, we'll take it on board, see if there's something we can do. Right guys, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed seeing the chickens today, and take care.